Hey everybody, so the other day I tried this Kirkland Signature brand that was made by Charles Smith. Uh, it was a Chardonnay and I was not impressed with it. However, I've tried some of the other stuff in the past and liked it. So I thought, you know what? Maybe this channel just needs a little substance. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, so if you liked today's video, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that notifications bell, and do all the other stuff that people do when they like content. So today I'm going to be reviewing the 2018 Substance Cabernet Sauvignon by Charles Smith. It is 14% alcohol by volume and I paid $15 for it at my local store. Uh, it's from Columbia Valley, so uh, the typical Washington Charles Smith type of wine and um, I don't know what to think of this because I've had some of the other stuff in the past like the Boom Boom Syrah yeah it was it was pretty decent uh, Kung Fu Girl Riesling I thought it was actually a pretty good value and then the Kirkland Signature one wasn't a fan of that wasn't a fan of that however though people have told me that this one is good so let's see how good it is. And because of my clutch, I'm gonna put that back. So from a color standpoint, let me get all this stuff. This is a crappy pour right there. Uh, you are a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, on the nose, holy vanilla Batman. So, okay, okay, that's good. It must have just been all on the top of the bowl because now we're kind of integrating. However, though, that alcohol is noticeable. There's a lot of blackberry in this. A lot of blackberry, a lot of plum, black currant. There's a little bit of like a black pepper note. A little bit of like a herbal tea. Yeah, kind of your, your, your typical, almost like American oaky type of note. So I'm getting a little bit of like a vanilla. I'm getting a little bit of a clove. There's a touch of cedar. So like the candy mounds, if you peel the chocolate off, Actually, no, just the candy mounds. That's what it smells like. You get a little bit of that sweetened coconut and you get a little bit, just a little bit of that milk chocolate. Yeah, with all that being said, how's the taste? So initial, like as soon as it hits on the approach, tons of ripe fruit, no noticeable tannins until it hits the mid palate. And then they're like this kind of, what I would say is medium plus tannins, they're chalky tannins just very evenly coating and kind of feel like you need to scrape things. Overall fruit intensity, medium plus. I forgot to do the density on the nose because I always forget that. Medium on the nose. It's really bold on the fruit, calm on the secondary, and really just heavy on the tannin. Man, those tannins, they're just really, they're not abrasive, they're just, heavy and chalky. So the, the thing about this wine is I almost feel like, I almost feel like the oak influence is right where it needs to be. And the reason I say that is because you don't want too much oak because as those primary fruits develop and they go into tertiary, then you're going to have this thing where it's like a whole bunch of like aged fruit and a whole lot of just barrel notes. So the thing I like about this wine is that there's a lot of primary fruit. But what that means is that as this wine is starting to develop, some of those primary fruit notes are going to become tertiary notes. And as that happens, some of that primary will still be there. So what you'll end up having is a one, two, three. You'll have the primary notes that are still there, but aren't as intense as they currently are now. You have the secondary, which aren't really going to do much other than just stay there. And then you're going to get the tertiary notes that developed from the maturity of those primary elements. So you're going to end up getting this wine in the long run that's probably going to be fairly well balanced. At this age, all I'm getting is primary and secondary. I'm getting no tertiary whatsoever. Let this thing age for about 10 years. I mean, maybe even five years, you'll start getting some stuff. Those tannins will also soften a little bit and probably become a little less chalky. But I don't know if this wine has a life longer than 10 years, just because I think it needs, uh, I, need, I think it needs actually more tannins for it to continue to go on that far. While there is a medium plus tannin, it is still a fairly fine tannin. So 
they could break down a little bit faster than some of those more coarse mouthfeel tannins. But overall, this might be pretty good. Or it might not. We won't know until we get to the Blick. All right, so from a balance standpoint, I'm gonna give you half a point. And there's two reasons for that. First, if you wanted to have this wine for 10 plus years, it really needs more tannin. It really does. The tannins in this wine are already reasonably soft, but they, they need to have more so as they kind of age, it's not gonna lose that bite and become flabby. Speaking of flabbiness, you need a little bit more acid. Right now, you're a medium, maybe, maybe medium plus acid for some folks. But if you wanna really sit there and kind of develop that tertiary, it's gonna have more acid. Otherwise, the wine's gonna become flabby when you end up opening it. So I would say ideal lifespan for this wine is probably maybe five years. Um, if it had more acid, more tannin, you could probably go for 10, maybe 15. Uh, the total sidetrack there. Uh, length, medium plus finish though. So uh, half a point. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium, to medium plus, depending on what you're looking for, like the secondary or the primary on the palate, so half a point. And complexity, I'm getting primary and secondary. I'm getting no tertiary, so half a point. In the end, right now, you're a good wine. I'm not upset about this wine. Like I said, you can age this wine. It will continue to develop. That might give it another half point complexity. It might give it another half point in length if those tertiary elements are enjoyable and stick around as part of the finish and add to it. The thing that you're not gonna get with this is that balance between the tannins, the acid, and the rest of the structure, and you're not going to get an increase in the intensity. So, that being said, at most, five to 10 years from now, this is a very good wine. Right now, this is a good wine. If you buy it, you won't be disappointed. Drink it and have a steak. Anyway, this is Mr. Root with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Substance Cabernet from Charles Smith? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.